and you walk into the Schottenstein Center for basketball, hockey, or a concert, it's always a perfect stage. But what does it take to make one building ready to host so many different events? Dion Miller goes behind the scenes in this week's Around the Oval. It's after 11 p.m. and the Schottenstein Center is full of activity. I just as soon have 35 guys, so I'm not here till 5 in the morning. Just hours after a Buckeye basketball victory, another team has taken the court to convert the hardwood to a skating surface. Uh, the night will probably take about four and a half hours unless we have some sort of equipment issue. Um, normally things are pretty smooth. The uh, majority of the guys on my crew have been here for at least a year, some two years, some three years. I have, I think three or four have been here about five years, so they're pretty self-sufficient. The conversion happens roughly 90 times a year, always in the overnight hours and always with the help of a team of about 20 most of them students, making for a very unique fraternity. They're smart people, smart kids. Um, you know, a lot of them are adults, you know, young adults. So they're, they're a, lot are, a lot of them are engineering students. So they have that, uh, that uh, uh, mechanical knowledge to be able to figure things out as they go as well. First thing, as you see behind me, what they're doing right now is they're removing the uh, courtside seats, the black leather courtside seats. Uh, after that, they'll start removing the benches and then the scores tables that you, uh, anybody that's watched the game sees on the, uh, the uh, south side of the building. After they get that done, they'll uh, start removing some of the, uh, the spectator seating and stuff like that. And then uh, here shortly, they should start removing, if they haven't already, they should start removing the basketball court. My favorite part of the conversion is probably when we're done and we can see our finished product. It just it's like a great accomplishment to me to see how quickly we get everything switched over. Those results are what keep fans in the seats, making one place a unique venue for both hoops and hockey, and making sure their hard work goes largely unnoticed. For Inside Ohio State Athletics, I'm Dion Miller.